protests in Tibet have reportedly taken a deadly turn. Chinese authorities now say at least 10 people are dead. That's a day after the largest and most violent protests against Chinese rule in the territory in nearly two decades. But the exiled Tibetan government in India says the death toll could be much higher, as many as 100. Meanwhile, China has locked down Tibet's capital city of Lhasa. But that hasn't stopped protesters elsewhere around the globe. In Sydney, police arrested four demonstrators outside the Chinese consulate. That's after 40 members of the city's ethnic Tibetan community surrounded two police officers sent to watch the demonstration. And in India, dozens of ethnic Tibetan protesters tried to hold a demonstration in front of the Chinese embassy in New Delhi. But they were intercepted by police surrounding the embassy building. Also in Nepal, two Dutch tourists who just arrived from Tibet spoke with the AP about what they saw. We see a lot of soldiers, big tanks, uh, uh, all roads were blocked in the old city. Something like 100 uh, trucks of soldiers driving into the city. That's when it started, after, after it had started, right. early evening. And uh, so it was really, they, they came down on the Tibetan people really hard. The uprising comes two weeks before China's Olympic celebrations kick off with the start of the torch relay. It's scheduled to pass through Tibet. The U.S. and other governments are urging China to show restraint on the protesters. Nobody benefits from violence. Uh, so nobody wants, it, no, nobody wants to see that. But we believe it is very important that in responding to these protests that the Chinese, the Chinese government uh, uh, turn away from use of force. But the International Olympic Committee has refused to take a stance on the issue. Sandy Cosell, The Associated Press.